Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're checking out some over-the-top camera capture and editing media. Angelbird recently sent me a few of their products for a two-month period of testing. When I first got in touch with them, all I was really interested in was their new SD cards, which are designed for high data rate cameras like the GH5 and GH5S. I was surprised when I opened the box and found a whole bunch of extra hard drive goodies. But back to the SD cards. To get the maximum quality out of your GH5 and GH5S, you need to use either an external recorder or SD cards that can handle the 400 megabit per second write speeds. For those curious, I've done a video on high-speed SD cards for the GH5 here. At this moment, there aren't a ton of these cards available, so I was keen on seeing if the Angelbird SD cards would get the job done. Sure enough, their cards handled every record option my GH5 could throw at them, including the 6K anamorphic options. While these cards might seem expensive at around $100 per 64 gigs of storage, this is actually very affordable considering the other alternative V90 cards out there. I've already purchased several different 128 gig cards for my GH5 and most cost about the same amount or more. So there you have it, great SD cards for the GH5 and any other future cameras that require demanding write speeds. But what about all the other stuff in the box? Well this is where things get more interesting in my opinion. Angel Bird sent along two of their PKT portable drives. In short, these hard drives are some of the fastest, most well-made, and most expensive drives I've ever worked with. Angelbird sent along their SSD to go PKT and the SSD to go PKT XT. The smaller PKT drive comes in sizes of 250 gigs up to one terabyte, all packed in a tiny form factor. This 512 gigabyte model will set you back 350 bucks. It is shock, dust, splash, temperature, x-ray, and magnetic proof. I immediately took a liking to the USB 3.1 jack, which is recessed into the body of the drive. This makes for a clean look once you've attached a cable and prevents cable strain. Speaking of cable, the drive ships with a USB 3.1 Gen 2 cable and a USB 3.1 0.0 type A cable. For speeds, I got average reads of 422 megabytes per second and writes at 521 megabytes per second. If you like your drive speeds even faster, the PKT XT is the drive to look into. With this just slightly larger gray SSD, I witnessed for the first time speeds close to 1000 megabytes per second. With a large amount of data on the drive, over Thunderbolt, I got average speeds of 786 megabytes per second for writing and 864 megabytes per second for reading. Needless to say, this is a crazy fast drive, but it comes with a crazy expensive price tag of around 800 bucks. So while this probably isn't going to be something that a lot of us purchase, I can see some really interesting use cases with these fast small drives. If you have a laptop fast enough to deal with 8K raw red footage, you could probably edit directly off of one of these and it would make for a really, really compact set. So at this point, I will be purchasing uh, some of those SD cards as I think it's a great price point. This is obviously a trusted brand, so it's going to work great for cameras like my GH5 and GH5S. And you got to keep in mind, cameras are only going to require larger and faster SD cards as we move forward. So investing in cards like these aren't, you know, a waste, if you will, because Sony and Canon are going to catch up with Panasonic and we're going to need some pretty ridiculous cards to keep up. So I'm definitely interested in those. Now let me pause right there. This is future Caleb. What you've been watching was recorded before NAB 2018. Now at the show NAB, we had some interesting camera releases and new tech come up. So the first thing is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which can do some crazy things. And all this media that we've been talking about is going to be critical for cameras like that going forward. So that camera can record to an SD card, CFast, or those drives that we were talking about. So these are not only going to be used for holding data and editing off of data, but we can now use these for capturing data. So just like I said, this media is going to become more and more useful and definitely a worthy investment, uh, especially considering uh, these cameras are going to be taking up a lot of data to do 4K RAW, which is insane. 
Another thing that happened at the show was that we saw for the first time ProRes RAW. That's something that Apple's developed and it is going to come, my guess, is to more cameras in the future. But right now it's used on things like this recorder I have right here from Atomos, the Shogun Inferno. Now to make that ProRes RAW work, you're going to need a fast hard drive. And guess what? One of the drives that Angel Bird sent along for testing was this guy, which is specifically designed for 4K RAW workflows. And the other thing I love about it is not only that it's fast enough, but the design, you'll notice this kind of wavy stuff here, which is a perfect gripping material. So if I stick the uh, SSD into my uh, Shogun Inferno here, which will be able to record ProRes RAW, I can very easily grab it and pull it off, which is uh, surprisingly missing from the other uh, drives that you can buy from G-Check and Atomos. So all of the media that we've been looking at in this video, including CFast cards, which I didn't even cover, will be insanely helpful as we move forward into the age of raw for all. So that's enough for me, future Caleb. Let's go back to past tense, Caleb, and finish up this video. These two drives easily have the speeds to be able to handle like uh, red AK raw. So you could uh, conceivably plug this into a machine if you had a fast enough one or a fast enough laptop and edit off of one of these suckers. So it would cost you a lot, but the size is great. The reliability is amazing and the software and making sure that the drives don't fail on you is pretty awesome. So uh, that is pretty solid, but it's just pretty expensive. Um, but you know, you're getting what you pay for, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. So if you want to learn more about this stuff, check the links in the description. Special shout out to my good friend Ash Taylor, who turned me on to Angel Bird in the first place. So definitely check out his review of their stuff as well as his other videos on his channel because he makes some beautiful content. And thank you to uh, Angel Bird for sending this uh, test gear out. It was really awesome of you guys and um, it's pretty amazing stuff. So hats off and well done. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like below and maybe even subscribe if you haven't already to join the greatest community here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.